really about designing a community housing for the people rather than being developer driven. This building is really tenant driven, it's providing spaces that are calm and allow amenity to the people who live here. And more community spaces, I guess? Yeah, absolutely. Spaces for the people to come together, interact with one another, um, and really get to know one another so, yeah. that, so that it builds a community rather than just a place to live. So Sasha, how long have you been living here in this complex? I've been here approximately about a year and a half. Okay. Welcome to my apartment, David. Yeah, thanks Sasha. Um, Massage table? Yeah, I've got a massage table because I'm self-employed as a massage therapist. Okay. I run my own business from home. And this is a really lovely, light-filled, modern apartment. I was actually really surprised about the price because when I was looking for things that were similar, there was pretty much garages and granny flats and even they were a lot more expensive as right, well. Right, so part of the ethos of this place is to offer contemporary accommodation at affordable yeah. prices. Yeah. Right, that's fantastic. <laughs> Ground is a model that has been adopted by in New York. It is um, it's an answer to homelessness and affordable housing. We have 40 units in this building. 20 units are made up of our affordable tenants. They're people that are on a low to moderate income, and the other 20 units are occupied by our social tenants, which we source from the ACT Housing Register. Mm -hmm. They are what we consider a high risk of homelessness. And communal gardens and this beautiful community space that we're in here, they're obviously part of what you're offering those tenants as well. Absolutely. Beautiful spaces for them to be able to connect with Mother Earth outside, which I think is a really healing element, mm -hmm. um, and also a, a space that they are able to come together and eat, because food, I believe, is brings people together. Yeah, absolutely. Food is healing. It's nourishing to the body and the soul. So um, I've, been, I've witnessed that, and that's just beautiful. Yeah. So I know it works. Catherine, Tim and I were kind of surprised when such a diverse group of industry professionals chose common ground over all of the other projects. But maybe that's an acknowledgement that good architecture isn't just about beautiful buildings. Good architecture, good design, is about the part it can play in transforming people's lives. The common ground definitely does that.